Hey, stalkers. I love you. So today marks 14 days left until my 21st birthday. This is my 8th vlog for my birthday vloganza series and today's topic is an interesting one that many people know some of these things but some of them I'm hoping are new to people. My topic is 14 different hidden sexual messages and images in Disney movies and cartoons. Now some of these I know a lot of people have already heard about or already seen but I'm hoping that a few of these that I have found and researched haven't been seen by most people. Uh, fair about half of them I hadn't heard of beforehand, so it's kind of interesting to see about some of them now and just think, why? <laughs> so in the movie Notre Dame, there's a scene where Esmeralda takes a spear and puts it into the ground while she's dancing and ends up pole dancing on it. As well, there's a scene where when there's a silhouette of her in the fire, there's a couple frames where you can clearly tell that the silhouette is naked. As you can see, like the crevice of where her thighs are as well, there is a different coloring around her boobs to make her boobs show more. In The Lion King, of course, a lot of people have seen the sex in the sky, but as well, there in a lot as well as in a lot of movies, there is the word sex written all throughout in many different scenes, like hidden in the grass, hidden in rocks, all over the place. Um, some of them are a lot easier to see than others. Uh, some of the videos I've looked at, some of them were kind of some of the words sex were kind of at the point where it's like, I think you're making this one up, but there are some that are very visible and very well known, including the one in Lion King where um, when Simba lays down and the dirt or dust or whatever puffs into the sky and they form the letters, the word sex. In The Little Mermaid, during the wedding scene, the priest, if you look closely, pops a boner. So that one's kind of, it is pretty obvious. It's not like it's hidden that much. Um, when I first saw it, I hadn't seen it on the internet or anything. I was watching the actual movie and I was like, wait, did I just see that? And when I, when I like paused it and rewound it, I saw that there was just a small little bump there and I was like, what the hell? This is completely inappropriate. This is a child's movie. So that was um, pretty interesting. In the movie Shrek, I'm not sure which one it is. If you look closely during one of the scenes when Lord Forquar or whatever you however you pronounce the name is in his bed, you can see the blankets near his hand kind of pop up a little bit and then immediately after he looks down and if you look at his facial expression you'll you'll know exactly what happened especially because then it shows an image of princess fiona so clearly he popped a boner to princess fiona now i'm not quite sure if this is disney or not but i found it on one of the links i'm going to be posting below um it's pretty um interesting in um in the wabbit who came to supper there was part where the rabbit is coming out of the shower and covers himself with a towel however for a second the towel slips revealing kind of a white furry nub that's half hidden half revealed and apparently the illustrators admitted that they had put that in there on purpose so that kind of just blew my mind that they purposely put a dick in a child's show. On one of the covers for the movie Tangled, it's a picture where the g main character, the guy, is wrapped up in her hair. Now, if you look closely, her hair ends up spelling out the word sex. In Who Framed Roger Rabbit, there's a scene where the car runs over acid or something and spins out and run hits a lamppost and the two people in the car end up flying out. Well, there's a sh quick shot a frame where the girl's dress flies up and you can clearly see her genital region. There's a shot in Three Little Pigs where the three pigs are at their piano and in the background you see a frame with some sausage links shaped into an M. But when you look at the inscription at the bottom of the frame, it says father. When I saw that, I was kind of awestruck. I was like, what? Now, there's a picture of Mickey Mouse holding Minnie Mouse and the way that the illustrator drew Minnie's dress, um, I wouldn't have ever pictured it, I don't think, until I had seen this picture, but now that I've seen this picture, I cannot stop unseeing it. Um, it basically looks like Mickey is holding a giant penis. Uh, the shape of Minnie's dress resembles very much a penis, so now I can't unsee that. In the movie Aladdin, when um, Aladdin gets attacked by the tiger, if you listen closely, you can hear Aladdin saying, good teenagers 
take your clothes off. When I heard this, I was completely dumbfounded. I was like, are you kidding me? This is just ridiculous. In the movie The Rescuers, when Bianca and Bernard are taking off on Wilbur's back, there's a shot where, for a quick second, in the background, in one of the windows, you see something very inappropriate. When you freeze the frame and zoom in, you realize that it is a chest shot of a naked woman. And after you see it close up, and then you watch the video a little bit slower than normal speed, it's very obvious that it's there. Now this one was kind of interesting when I found it. I thought um, you'd really only be able to see it if you freeze it at the right time and you expand the image. So you'd probably have to do this on your computer. But during the Beauty and the Beast, when the main macho guy, I don't remember his name, um, and the Beast are fighting on the top of uh, the Beast's castle, when the guy falls, there's a shot where if you freeze it and you zoom in, in his eyes, you can see little skulls, almost like he is looking into death itself as he falls to his death. Kind of interesting, actually. Like, it's it's not a sexual thing, but I thought it was a pretty interesting subliminal message that they had in there. And then, of course, a lot of people know that in The Little Mermaid, in the underwater castle, there is the outline or shape of a penis incorporated into the castle. And in one of the covers of Lion King, Mufasa's head is kind of put into the background. And if you look closely enough, you can see that along his nose is the figure of a woman in underwear. So that's 14 subliminal messages hidden in Disney movies and cartoons. I hope you guys enjoyed and have learned some of the new ones that you may not have known beforehand. I know that I certainly have seen some things that I probably did not want to see. Share the news that Disney can be pretty sexual. I think it personally just makes me like Disney even more, honestly. Stay tuned for more vlogs for the rest of my birthday vlogganza. I've got 13 more videos coming up for the series as well as a video on my my birthday and probably some clips, uh, a compilation video for my birthday weekend while I'm out partying with friends and stuff like that. I think I might do kind of an out of the room vlog for that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share with everyone. Squirt, squirt, squirtle!